Last week, a group of U.S. Army soldiers based in Hawaii finally came home after being deployed in the Middle East. But their homecoming was different from what they'd been used to. Mayo Asenas in Honolulu reports. Soldiers from the Hawaii Army National Guard have returned from their year-long deployment to Afghanistan and Iraq. They arrived at Honolulu's International Airport after being quarantined for several days in Texas, which was their first stop in the U.S. For this redeployment, returning soldiers had to be medically screened for COVID-19 symptoms by fellow guardsmen alongside officials from the Hawaii State Department of Health in accordance with a mandate for all travelers bound for the Aloha State. Getting on the plane in Texas, it was, um, it was surreal. Um, it's been a long year, and so it was more of a I can't believe this is actually happening. Um, there's a lot of delays, there's a lot of um, changes due to this whole COVID thing. And so just being able to get on the plane and say that, hey, we're on our way home, that meant, that meant the world to everyone. For Army Captain Matro, the additional checks for COVID-19 might have been a daunting, eye-opening experience. But he also believed that these procedures did not dampen the excitement of troops who were simply looking forward to come home to be with friends and loved ones. Due to social distancing guidelines, there were no traditional welcome home ceremonies where troops would march in a formation before a cheering crowd of friends and families. Instead, there were no hugs nor kisses. I'm going to have to quarantine him first, 14 days, that's for sure and then maybe work from there and talk about it. <laughs> it is, it's just sad because then it's a must, it's, it's a, a must that we have to do it, but then it's, I, I just felt like it's sad because then the, they're, they're away for like, what, almost a year and this, they deserve a grand reunion, you know, but then this happened, but it's, it's just how it is. He already asked me if food line is open and I said yes, they're open at 10 and I'm pretty sure he's gonna buy poke. Families had to wait inside their vehicles and were not allowed to get out. They had to patiently wait for their soldiers, who were called outside a few at a time. It is what it is. I know that terms or that saying's been thrown out a lot, um, but it is. Um, we understand that there are limitations, that there are constraints outside of our understanding and outside of our control. And you know, we, we'll just roll with it. We'll we'll do what we have to do. It's great that um, leadership came out to welcome us. It's great that we had the support of all the community when we arrived in the airport. And you know, it wasn't the welcome home ceremony that we expected, but at least we got something. For Eagle News, this is Mio Senas. We live in interesting times.